this is where the game gets really weird because it's a living, actual, to goodness, honest to goodness, a living, breathing turtle. Instead of going into like his digestive organs or stuff, there's a choir being conducted here. And a hollow honeycomb piece. Yeah, of all the things in this game, this is one of the weirder ones for me. Why, please, the famous Tip Top Choir will now perform my latest work. Bit short, isn't it, shell boy? Well, see, copy what you just heard for lesson one. I'll get the honeycomb piece after this, JB. Grab the other notes. So they went purple. I'll go pink, purple, blue, dark blue. Mmm, not too bad. Try lesson two. Red, yellow, purple, dark blue. Red, yellow, purple, dark blue, purple. <laughs> Scene! <laughs> okay. Ah, splendid. You just need one more lesson. This is how easy it is to become a conductor. Yellow, purple, dark blue, red, purple, red, yellow. Um, I'm gonna screw this one up. Yep, I've screwed that one up bad. No, that's not right. Try again or ask me to repeat the lesson. Oh, hey, you got an old token back there. I knew you'd need to see this one again. I wanted to grab that mumble beak and token. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, this is a tough one. Okay. You suck. <laughs> Why are they injuring me? Oh, I mean, I know I'm crushing their backs, but still. And they had that right. But I did that one! This is bogus. I hit the right one and it electrocuted me. That's weird. I've like never failed at that before until just now. Whoa! You did. You sucked! Wait, at least you got 60 notes. No. Now I've got to collect all of those notes that I grabbed before and go back to that. Oh wow. I suck. And I have to collect all the Jinjos again. Alright, well, I'll just meet you guys back at where I failed. Holy cow. Alright, we're back. <laughs> At last. Okay, uh, what order was this? He was last. Nope, I suck. <laughs> Why is this so difficult for me? I swear when I play this casually, I, I've never had a problem with this. I said sing! <laughs> I'm not gonna sing. I'll smash your head if you don't sing. Now, conduct the final. <laughs> 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 
Magnificent! You smashed my pupils' heads. A true masterpiece. Here, take this trinket I found earlier. Screw you, Tipta. What kind of a sadist music teacher is like, smash my students' heads in order to copy what I did? Also, if you get the order wrong, I'll electrocute you telekinetically and literally kill you. It's like, bro, for real? Well, we grabbed that, and remember, there's a whole honeycomb piece here. Sorry, there's nothing more I can teach you. Screw you, Tip Tup. I didn't like you in Diddy Kong Racing either. Yeah, there are quite a few Diddy Kong Racing references in this game. Also, to the keen-eyed observer, you might notice that I have, um, 63 notes as opposed to 60 notes. That's because I accidentally jumped on a raft of free notes on it that I didn't last time. Don't worry, we're going to go to that raft right now. It was this one. This one had free notes on it that I hadn't picked up. I did accidentally because I thought this was where the Flippet Tribe was. It's not. This is where just the regular Flippet Tribe was. Give me those waiting step ins. Kazooie! For real? I will grab these notes. I kind of wanted you to walk up there. There's a giant egg. It's not jumping at the one up. We actually need that. Just attack wherever the X's are. And there's a G inside. Got it. Anyhow, gumbo, gumbo, grab that mumbo, mumbo token. And at this point, we've explored almost all of the level. Let's go back to where the giant crocodile was, because he's basically the last. I think that's the last place we really need to explore more in depth. As well as the bottom of the shacks, but we'll get there when we get there. Right there. This is the wooden fort. And hey, that's Mumbo's skull in there. New Mumbo level, new transformation. Let's find our way to it. We gotta navigate this maze though, which is filled with piranha water. We built a fort on top of piranha water. And some more notes for us to collect in here. Yeah, most waiting step boots only last this long, but one in Grunty's Lair is an exception which lasts a little longer. Every time there's a U turn, there's a note. There's another switch here. This one can be tricky, especially because of the camera. Look at how narrow that road is. And it's a time limit again. We only have 10 seconds. But we did. It's that first part that's really nasty. And again, the camera's not amazing. But we grabbed it first try. I'm happy about that. Alright, we got 80 minutes. And we've reached Momo's skull. So this transformation on this level costs 10 Mumbo tokens instead of the 5 on Mumbo's Mountain. Remember how I said we always high jump into Mumbo's skull? There's a hollow honeycomb piece in the center. Let's grab that. And we have found both hollow honeycomb pieces on this level. And we're gonna try not to forget that this time. Alright, here's the 10 Mumbo tokens. What did you get? New transformation, the crocodile. Wait, Mumbo need new boots. Only kidding. Also, he's hiding one of his own tokens behind his chair. You only need a nine. So the crocodile is actually one of the best transformations in the game. He's small, so he can get through small areas. He can walk through piranha water no problem. He can actually attack 
which most of the transformations in the game- actually no, this is literally the only transformation in the game that can attack enemies. And he has a decent jump, and you can do the hover jump by biting in midair. All things considered, easily one of the best transformations, and it's the second one. And because he can walk through piranha water no problem, this is where I'm like, we can grab the notes later. Because, well, we can indeed grab the notes later. First up, we're going back here. So, in case, for those of you who are still piecing it together, we need to take the crocodile out of Bubble Boop Swamp, take him to the Freezeezy Peak entrance opener, after the boulder has been crushed, and then he can go through that tunnel to get the secret inside. If you have not already crushed the boulder, you will be unable as the crocodile to go through there. And it's way easier to just leave, free, leave Bubble Boop Swamp as soon as you earn the boots than it is to leave after you've beaten everything, go back in, travel all the way to Mumbo to turn into the crocodile just to leave. And the rest of the map we can do with Japan's the crocodile. First up, let's enter this giant crocodile's nostrils. This sounds like a good idea. And this is what many consider to be one of the most annoying jiggies in the game to get. I disagree. This is not that bad. Her, her, her! I'm Mr. Vile, greediest croc of all. Play my game to win a prize. Press A to accept or B to chicken out. I press A. Game is simple. Eat more red yumblies than me. Ready? Three, two, one, go! This is where you just walk around and eat, press B to eat these red eyes. It's really easy. Well, in a way it's easy. Mr. Vile is actually very fast and his AI is actually quite good. Which is why many people actually really hate this game. So he actually can be a formidable opponent. As you can see, he's just going on an eating streak. The goal is to try to cut him off at once. Because you can't outrun him. He is a little faster. You can't outrun him, but you can't outthink him. Also, you have the time limit. But yeah, as you can see, he's catching up to me pretty fast. He also may or may not have rubber band AI, I don't know. Also, you can see those transparent sneakers over there. Those can make the game easier if you come back after unlocking them. But it's totally doable without them. Grr, you only win easy game. Now we play harder game. Eat reds, avoid yellow grumblies. They not right. Ready? Three, two, one, go! So eat the red ones, avoid the yellow ones. Simple. So, why is he so boastful being the greediest crop Like, that's a bad thing, dude. You ain't getting this one can be annoying just because you can't see where all the grumble, where all the yumblies and grumblies are. He can though, because he's the uh, all-seeing AI. So he might be like, oh, I know there are a bunch of red guys on the opposite side. We don't know that. But we still beat him. Brr, lucky greeny wins. Must play last game. Only eat what is shown at the top of the screen. Ready, three, two, one, go. So first we start by eating the red ones and then we'll manage to to say eat the yellow ones. If you eat the wrong color, then you get stunned for a short time. Also, this is the one that's really hard. Because Mr. Vile does get better as time goes on. And yes, if you eat the color while it's transitioning to the other color, 
you will get stunned, and it's not fun when that happens. Come on, just turn to In your face, Mr. Vile, never lost. If you lose, he will bite you and you will lose a good amount of HP. Mr. Vile never lost before. Greeny can have prize. Yeah, some people make that out to be like the hardest one. The hardest jiggy. It's not. Mr. Vile has tougher challenge of Greeny not scared. You must win next three games to win three extra lives. But each time Greeny loses, Mr. Vile chomps you for one life. Press A to accept or B to slide off like a slug. I am not gambling my life on a game, dude. Mr. Vile is baddest crocodile of all. Look, everyone. Greeny is scurrying off. Yeah, because you literally want to kill me. Man, Mr. Vile, you suck. Her, her. Greeny doesn't want to play games, so I am better than him. No, that is not how that works. Anyhow, let's go to the Shack Staff. And I don't mean Shaquille O'Neal. You're missing five notes somewhere. <laughs> Oh, could this be where the five notes are? Yes, indeed. Do, 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 go. What? You found all 100 notes on this world! Well done! And when you get 100 notes, apparently you get an extra life. Didn't know that. Final Jinjo. And we have all 10 Jiggies, all 100 notes, and both of the Hollow Honeycomb pieces on Bubble Boop Swamp. So we are done! Maybe there's a Mumbo token or two that I missed. I don't care about those. Well, I mean, I do, but I don't care about hitting all of those. Oh wait, there is there is one Mumbo token that I missed, but I'm gonna grab it on the way out. It's behind this pillar. Hey, Mumbo. Hehe, <laughs> Bear and Bird did not find Mumbo token hidden back here. Gumbo, Gumbo. Mumbo, Mumbo apparently was found. Did Mumbo hide these tokens around, or is it just like, Random people are throwing shaman magic around. I don't know. But anyhow, that's Bubble Bloop Swamp. That's an enjoyable world. I put that kind of in the middle for me. Whoa! Your best note score for this world is now 100! Yeah, it is. Anyhow. Yes, yeah, scurry back here. Man, it is really dark in this tunnel. We have broken the boulder. Thankfully, Crocodile can climb up slopes. Let's see what's back here. Um, hi. Cheat all the spell you have found. Magic cheats I have for you. Hey, Book Brain! What did you say? You better not give my spells away! Which lost book finders Baron Bird are a spell idiot? We sure do, Bag Lady! Come on, Book Boy! Give us the spells! Only one spell Cheeto can tell. Enter the code Blue Eggs on Sand Castle Floor in Treasure Trove Cove Road. Help you, Will. Thanks, Mr. Cheeto! Hidden in there, other spell books are. Them you should find. Yeah, so this is Cheeto. <laughs> what a great name for a cheating book. He literally will give you cheats that you can enter to make your game easier. And honestly, I am absolutely going to put in these spells because they were literally put in the game for you to use. Like, <laughs> you literally have to find them in order to get them. And they don't break the game, they just make it a bit easier. So, that's what we'll do next time on Colorful Artie Plays Banjo-Kazooie. Thanks so much for watching, everybody! 
Tune in next time. We will be inputting that code, and then we're going to try going to the New World Freezeezy Peak. We'll be exploring even more of Grunty's Lair. Look forward to that. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.